Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we will talk about classification in Maximo. Let's see how, how we create new classification in Maximo. Okay, let's log in to Maximo using authorized user. Let's go, go to application, classification application. Let's create a new one, new classification. Okay, we don't have any one for now, so let's create a new one. We will call it, for example, motor. Okay. Okay, we could select organization and site or leave it in the system level. So let's select our organization site also. Example site one. Okay, let's add a new row. We will use it with the asset object. Okay, we could add new children. Okay, you saved now. This will create a classification called motor that can be used to classify assets. Okay, we can now add children to this motor. Let's call it electric motor. Okay, need to add it. Motor, electric motor. Okay, we could add another one here. We could also add attributes to the classification to characterize assets. Such as horse power. Okay, let's add it. Alpha numeric. Or could be okay. You can associate it also with domain if you have any domain. Okay, you could also add unit of measure. Okay, we can also use another attributes or another children as you want. So you could use this motor to classify your asset. Okay, let's save it. You could also add an image here. Select any image. Okay. Uh, 
add image from here it will show in here okay select your image okay so let's create a new asset go to assets menu application to test our classification let's create a new asset call it motor okay let's go to specification select our specification classify we could select motor or electrical motor so let's select this motor okay this attribute appears here by default if you add any description to the motor classification you will see it here the more description you add the more benefit you will get so let's go to classification try to add description for testing purpose okay to add description it's read only here but we could update it from here add all the motor or testing purpose we could add here any description we want to add this is also electrical motor you could add uh, a horsepower a lot of information you can add, add it here okay save it return with value Okay, when we save our asset, okay, it gets the description from the classification. Okay, this is the hierarchy of classification also appears here. Okay. And also appears here. You don't need to enter any description. Classify it, then use it. Okay, very simple okay very important application in maximum so use it specify your asset define them correctly from the name blade or from their manual okay so that's all for this video please don't forget to subscribe and share it thank you